Hi, my name is Ivan J. Aziz and I'm a professor at Cornell University and I occasionally also teach at the Faculty of Economics and Business, University of Indonesia. This time uh, I'm offering a course on development economics and the nature of the course is so broad that uh, we cover a number of issues and for that we also invite a number of professors for example there will be a specific topic on sustainable development and it will be given by professor Emil Salim and we will also cover a topic on social uh, institution which is very critical for developing countries and it will be given by Professor Budi Reso Sudarmo from the Australian National University. And we will cover also one of the hottest topic, which is on infrastructure, the role of infrastructure in economic development. And that will be given by Professor Howard Dick from the Melbourne University. And then we will also cover a topic on the role of small and medium enterprise including the role of micro credits as well as micro insurance and that topic will be given by Professor Ralph Christie from Cornell University and we will have another guest uh, Professor N. Booth from School of Oriental and African Studies uh, University of London and she will cover the topic on poverty and income inequality so those topics will be given by those professors that I mentioned. But obviously for this class, the development economics, the issue is so broad, so there will be uh, another set of development economics issues that I myself will be giving. For example, we will cover the issue on productivity, the issue of the role of health and education, i.e. the role of human capital in development as well as the issue of the role of institution. And in addition to that, we will also cover the phenomena of decentralization. Because for a number of countries, including Indonesia, uh, they shifted the strategy from highly centralized system to highly decentralized system. So we will discuss about what is the implications of such a change in the institutions. And last but not least, we will also cover the topic on the role of international relation because there is no country in the world that is living in a vacuum because there's an international relation, there's the role of other countries as well as the role of international organizations. So this class is rather broad, but I hope you will learn something useful from this class so that you can use that knowledge to evaluate the development process as well as the development performance of any country as well as to evaluate the development policies of any country. So I hope you enjoy this class. Thank you very much.